All right, so here's the first field. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six strands barbed wire. I don't know if it goes all the way around or not. But the line's right there by the end of that trailer. We'll walk over here by the creek. I think this field we're going to make for um, maybe for like a little petting zoo. There's the creek. And then this fence comes up through here. There's the house that we may be looking into renting or buying. I think right here is where we're gonna put the high tunnel greenhouse. Old Clifford. Here's another little field. Show you in the barn real quick. Got a tack room slash feed room. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then like eight, nine, ten stalls in here. Two of them are small stalls. This opens up for a hay barn. So right there is the only area that's not fenced. He's been doing work with the dozer. Been doing some ditch work. You can make one or two more stalls out here, but I think I'm gonna make these into chicken houses. So I can have one, two, three chicken houses. And then this whole thing right here is gonna be enclosed with wire. This is where we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get some bobwhite quail and uh, raise them here. I've got to get the cage built and uh, get the DNR permits. And I know a guy in uh, Putnam County that has quails. I've already talked to him about buying some quails to bring in here. This needs a little bit of work, but this is where the chicken houses. Are currently, if I can get it open, there we go. I need to put some lights in here, fix the cracks, make sure they're safe. I got to put some substrate in here. Uh, so there's already two chicken houses here. All right, you got to walk with me over here. I think I'm gonna get more locks for these gates as well that I'm not 100% sure on well if I can get it open here there we go now probably right there I'll show you this backside fence work needs work and I think right here I'm gonna put posts in the ground and put a gate maybe slope this a little better to give access to go fish in the creek here or to get the ducks in the creek or you know whatever but we're going to walk down through this field now i can't remember what he said if i think he said water does get up here on this part he says it does not get up there and it does not get in the barn but i'll be able to show you should have put my boots on it's a bit of a hike down through here
we've got a whole lot of creek front property here. There'd be a place to get in and fish or maybe swim. Now this is where he said the water definitely comes up to here. You can see the sand and stuff from the creek bed. I'm gonna bring a trail camera over here. We seen tracks yesterday. And I'm not sure if it's a dog or if it's uh I'm not sure if it's a dog or if it's a coyote. We're gonna find out. See this creek I've got. Lord, I don't know. A couple hundred yards of creek front property. I'd like to see some fish. It's kind of cold for fish still. They're probably buried up hiding. We saw some wild ducks in here yesterday. Yeah, there's just some kind of tracks. Can't tell if those are people tracks or what those tracks are. Fishing in these creeks with ultralight gear. Some of the funnest stuff I did growing up as a kid. Just catching creek chubs. There's a little bit of trash down here. I'd get in there and clean that up myself. Once we, uh, get things going over here all right now there's a fence right here but this is not the property line he said the property still goes another couple hundred yards down there uh, and then over but if you could feel this under my feet I mean I'm sure you can see the sand this is the silt from where the water has gotten up in here it's trash that I'm gonna have to come and pick up and clean up there were some little uh, toys that we found in here uh, yesterday. They were sitting over here. We set them down while we were looking. But I definitely have to get in here and clean this trash up. And we'll definitely have to do some fence work over on this side. Here's my little pond. So I think I'm gonna throw some trout in for the girls to catch. And I got a really cool I'm trying to get up here without getting my feet soaking wet. That pond's bigger than the one I had as a kid and we had fish in it. If you see, it's wet here. Yesterday there was still ice over here. It's a little bit warmer today. A little cave-like with overlook. That's it. I can show you some more in a bit. That's the, the gist of the property. It goes up along the bottom of this hill and back around the back of the barn. That's what we got.